Greetings, everyone. This is Dale Hammond. And you remember a few years ago, I promised I'd come on here and show you some home movies I took of the crane activity that was, went on in the 60s there in the back of uh, Petty's Bio. So here I am, being true to my word. I wasn't able to get here sooner. Uh, back in 2019, uh, April, I had major heart surgery. So here I am, anyways, and uh, I finally got uh, some of my home movies digitized, and uh, I'm able to share them online. So that's what I'll be doing. This is the house we lived in at the time for uh, a reference point, and that was uh, 15474 Howard Street. Arrow pointed to my bedroom. That was my bedroom from 1955 when my dad had the, had the house built to about 1959 when my uh, sister got married and moved out. That was uh, good memories there. A lot of things went on in that house, a lot of get-togethers. And, and the basement there on that far left corner was where my dad's uh, wood shop was. And he was always making things down there. One of the things he liked to make was uh, fish de decoys. And I remember how he used to do that, and I'm going to try and make some of those myself the same way he made them. There's my bedroom where I took most of these videos you're going to be seeing. And again, uh, I wish that I had had the money and, uh, you know, uh, the ability to take movies sooner because uh, in the 50s, uh, the worrying is we're doing a lot of digging at that point. But here we have the crane work. And again, this is uh, probably about 1966, somewhere in that era. Now, we're going to jump all around in dates here because I've just uh, grabbed videos uh, from uh, whole movies that I made and not really sure when I made some of these movies. So, but this is from my bedroom window. There's a point where I almost died. Uh, I was fishing with my buddy around the bend there to the right used to be a hot spot for bluegills. We were returning, it fell through the ice, and my buddy was uh, Bill Montgomery, I remembered his name, and he was home on leave from the Marine Corps, tough as a rope, and, uh, and because of that he was able to uh, get himself out when we fell through and then also drag me out. I would never have made it otherwise. And so there we are, kind of skating around looking Looks like it's Sandy Beach over there, but that's not the way it was. This is this time of the year when foliage along the shoreline there has died out. It's kind of brown, so the camera kind of gives the wrong uh, idea, like that's a big sandy beach along there. Looking across over the country club, there were all those years, looking out a picture window, watching the golfers over there. It's my brother fishing. He's often there catching uh, bluegills. My brother probably caught more bluegills out of that mile than anybody else ever. You see around behind him where the channel winds back around Howard Street. And I'll just refer to that as a channel from now on. There's a second channel uh, off in the distance there. It's kind of uh, an illusion. It's really further away than it, than it looks here in this uh, whole movie. Arrow's pointing to the entrance of that channel. Very interesting channel uh, in the late 50s and that. There was a variety of painted turtle that was was found back in there. And I've never seen anything like it since. They're real bright pink colors. It's just like your normal painted turtle, but very different in color. All right, there you see some crane work. Different cranes off there to the left of that uh, crane. Uh, was an area of swamp. There used to be rattlesnakes in there. One tried to get my dad one time. It left the fangs in his boot. And uh, I would walk through there and flush out the partridge. I did a lot of partridge hunting back in there. If you find old shotgun shells in your garden, chances are I'm the one that, uh, that put them there. I did a lot of hunting in that area. I kind of considered that my little kingdom, you might say. I just stand back there all the time. Here we are out to the, uh, beside the house, and my brother Harvey took um, D 
these uh, films, thanks to Jeannie Davis uh, and my niece, his daughter, uh, for getting these films to me. That's Mickey Castle you see there, pointed to. And I got to tell you about Mickey. Uh, he was a little slow. That's, he was known to be that way, and I liked him. He was a good buddy. I used to hang around with him. We used to sit on a porch and talk about when man would land on the moon, and we went fishing together and things. One day we were digging a tunnel through a big sand pile by the channel. That's where the, all the houses got in there. And uh, it was my turn to finish the tunnel. I just broke through the other side and all caved in on me. And uh, Mickey dug me out. So he was the first person to save my life. I would have never got out of there. I couldn't even breathe. I couldn't move my fingers. I was, like, paralyzed. So Mickey did that. And then I had to tell you, too, what happened to him a few year later, uh, years later. Uh, some mean older kids in the area. Uh, were teasing him. His dad had got him an English bike, one of those with uh, brakes and the on the handlebars there and front brake. And uh, they said, Mickey, you go as fast as you can and hit that front brake. Well, he wanted to impress them. He wanted friends, so he did that. And, and anyways, uh, he, he hit that front brake. It threw him over the handlebars. He hit his head on the uh, asphalt there and and the next morning, uh, his mother found him dead. Uh, he had a brain hemorrhage. And it was the uh, first funeral I went to. I'll never forget that. So, Mickey, uh, he was uh, a good buddy. I felt very bad about that, but, you know, welcome to the real world, right? And that Earl's pointing to Johnny Wright. He lived a couple houses away, down toward the channel there. And I hung around with him a lot. That, of course, is me. And why are we acting up? Well, my brother said, don't just sit there. This is a movie. I want you to move. I said, you want us to wrestle? Yeah, wrestle. Do something. Move. There's Janie. She's the one that loaned me these, uh, these movies so that we have this part. Probably my family is mostly interested in this. Here's my dad and our dog, Candy. And so that was a good hunting dog. Dad would get dogs from the dog pound, and and uh, we'd use them to flush pheasants. And as we went pheasant hunting in the Holland, Zealand area every fall, and Dad's fish shanty there in the background, and there's Bev, Harvey's wife, on the left there. So that's pretty much it. I got a little bit of of. Uh, what it was like back then, so thanks for watching.